Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a timeline chart in Excel. Creating a timeline in Excel is much easier and much more efficient than using PowerPoint. This is a useful tool if you want to provide client or investors a big picture chart of project objectives and deadline. So to begin, you must create a data field like this one I've shown here with the names and dates of each task. Well, on the right hand corner are the values that will be used for making the chart. After creating this table, you'll need to add positive or negative value one in the height field. So let's add it up. After adding, these values will determine the position of the given task in horizontal axis, whether it's above or below the axis. So this makes sure that the timeline is readable and is not crowded. Next up is naming the data using a formula. So we have the data field and we need to, to put the data using a formula. So type in this formula, equal sign B4, which is the value of the first column in the task, and then add the ampersand character, open bracket, and add the value 10 and close bracket and add another ampersand symbol and then type in text open bracket and type in c3 which is c4 which is the value of the first row in the target column and then target date column and add comma with dd and triple m which is the date and the month and close it up with apostrophe and close bracket now click enter once you type this formula. After clicking enter, the results will be a reference value to be displayed on the chart. Next up is selecting the target date and height values. Once you selected them, go on and navigate to the insert tab and go to the charts and click the clustered column. So right here will be our timeline chart okay right here we will be our timeline chart as you can see we need to clean up some values to make it readable to clients so first off we need to remove the grid lines and horizontal axis meter okay so we have our cleaned up chart all we need to do clean up the values for the dates so we can do that by accessing the data labels and more options and we need to remove the value which will be the positive and negative ones we don't need that value but we need the value from the cell so where do we get this value from the cell from the data field so just highlight the values from the data field and click ok the values will pop up on the event points in the timeline okay and lastly we need to set each days to months using format axis. We need to set each days to the months using format axis to make it much more readable. So go to more options, click the axis option, and then turn the units to one and make it to months. As you can see, we have now a much more cleaner and much more readable timeline chart. As you can see, this is the timeline chart. You can rename the ch timeline chart if you want. I'm going to rename it timeline. And from this onwards, you can edit and customize it to your liking. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials.